Hi everybody. Sort yourself out. I know what happens. You sit down, you put the video on, it's like, Brian, come on, I've got the come on, I've got the video on, get the popcorn. Get the popcorn. I'll give you a minute. Sort yourself out, okay? I'll just make me coffee. Woo! How is everyone? Alright. Managed to uh managed to niggle me back picking up about I don't know, a thousand records. Probably got a Bluetooth there. Picked up about a thousand records in the week. Some some pretty good ones. And um there's me cook. And I managed to just twist me back just like picking up the lightest bag I think. You don't you don't end up hurting yourself lifting the heavy stuff. It's just like the small like bending down you're bending down to the, you know, get the biscuits out of the cupboard you do your back in, don't you? So that's a bit sore at the moment, but I'll be all right. I'll soldier on, come to work, because you know, boss is absolutely awful in this place. No sick days. Anyway, are we all right? Well, well so what have we got? Let's do, um... <laughs> I, got a, <laughs> I got a funny story to tell you. It happened to me this week, I'll tell you that in a bit. Who's a ding for today? Oh, I just saw Andy O'Rourke had died from the Smiths, so that's sad. So let's have a couple of dings for uh, for Andy, very sad. Um, didn't realize he had pan pancreatic cancer for the last couple of years. So there we go, so RIP Andy. And um, there is a light that will never go out. I mean, probably too soon. Sure. Right, ding for Andy. Birthday, let's do a birthday ding. Um, it is, Rick Waitman's like 74. Ding for Rick. Not being funny, Rick, but I thought you were a lot older than that. I thought you were about, I thought you were about 84. You looked about 74 in about 1974 when you were playing. And yes, there's a great Rick Waitman documentary about him touring. It's really good. And it's really insightful. And he's a very funny guy. And um, he tells this story very quickly, it really made me laugh, about how he was on stage doing a gig and it must be like any job you get into the routine and it all gets a bit samey and a bit boring and he's dressed in his wizard outfit or whatever. And the roadie says to, to him, like, or he says to the roadie, oh, you know, get us a curry. Meaning get us a curry for after the gig. And the story goes that the roadie then goes out, gets a curry and brings in the curry like halfway through one of their like lengthy numbers. And uh, it is like bank of Hammond B9 organs or B whatever they are. He's been served up like a, you know, chicken vindaloo or whatever. And that he just <laughs> goes, oh, all right. And so he's eating his vindaloo on stage playing at the, you know, Colchester Town or whatever it is in the late 1970s with his like, full wizard regalia, which I thought was absolutely inspired. Anyway, happy birthday, Rick Waveman. Mm, me, 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 me bell Ooh, uh, is a bit wonky. It's not cheap. Not, there's very, very good bell technicians out there. Sounds rude, but it's not. You, you can come and grease. I'm not going to say that. Come and fix it. Right. Um, a customer left. Important public announcement, right? A customer left these here in the shop this week. Right, so either A, <laughs> do I just give them them back? B, do I fill them full of apple juice? Right, and then when they come back, <laughs> write me name on them. Write me name on that label and the date. <laughs> fill it full of apple juice and like make it like really cloud, cloudy apple juice. <laughs> and then just go, what do you think? That's funny, but of course I'm not gonna do that. Uh. Right, that's that. Let's have me, me coffee. So, you're all sorted, right? You're all in, you're all sorted, you're all ready to go. You wasted your time. Because the records are pretty boring this week. As I say, I have bought a, a, a couple, there's some interesting ones, but um, I've bought a couple of good collections. Loads of st that I'll start getting through next week. Loads of standard stuff in there, you know, loads of Eagles and, and Elton John and... 10cc and super tramp and u2 and simple minds and carol king and all, all blondie and beetles and stones and um all that some really interesting ones some really interesting 80s bits and bobs a really collectible 
couple of really collectible records, some strange Beatles things. Um, so I'll start getting through them next week. Okay, right, uh, where are we? Let me, I'll get, I'll get my coffee and then we'll go six minutes. Oh, bit rainy this week, isn't it? Hey, bit rainy. Give it a tap tap. What are you doing there? Spreading the love of the coffee all through. Do, 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 do. Look at that. Cheers. Oh, don't see. You know what? I should play. What I should do is play some of the demos from my old bands, and then, you know, when they go, when it comes to like, this will be monetized. I'll be like, no, it won't, because how much am I going to get? Right. Um, should we get into it? Six minutes. Hello, welcome to the Flick Through. If you've just joined for that, that was good timing, wasn't it? I, I just obviously this production value is just so bad. Right. Boop, 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 boop. I was just saying to the, um, the people who watch the full video, even though if you've just jumped to six minutes, you probably don't even have the sound turned up. So, you know, it's your own lookout, frankly. You just have to put up with it. The records are not brilliant this week, but, you know, there we go. So, look, Christmas is coming. <laughs> I've got a Christmas section, and it's, it's, it's jammed. So, get in early with your Crimbo selections. I've got loads of this stuff this week. Some interesting records I put out on um, put out last week. Some I'll just get to those sevens at the end. Stuff like this, you know, standard police records. Frankie goes to Hollywood. You know, standard stuff. That that was good, wasn't it? That gig. That um, let's give you, let's get him the little the frame a little bit. That um, performance was good, wasn't it? I thought when they played at the Liverpool oh, Eurovision, wasn't it? That's it. I thought it was great. Cheers. Like the top, by the way. If you guess the album, then you're cool. If you don't guess the album, then you're not. Simple as that. Uh, Diana Ross, loads of soul stuff, soundtracks. Look, I told you it was all guff. Go to a proper record shop. Oh, just heard some very important news I feel I should make you all aware of so you can prepare, get yourself ready. Rumour has it, um, the Blur are releasing a new album. I know. Everybody relax, don't panic. I think we can get through this together. I think what we've got to do is, I mean, a couple of things. First off, obviously avoid Radio 6. I mean, obviously just, just avoid it because it's just going to be, you know, wall to wall, that gumph. And um, avoid Radio 6 and then, you know, avoid anybody with a bowl head haircut or kind of walks around like giving it the kind of Damon swagger. Anybody who wears... Um, 1990s Adidas trainers, they should be avoided. <laughs> they should probably be avoided. Um, anybody who just looks like a smug, they should probably be avoided. And um, and we'll get through it, we'll get through it together. It's not fair, I've not listened to it. And you know what, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna, don't really like them. I've dinged it. It's in the law. That ding means it's law. Okay. There we have it. I, I don't know what that actually means by saying I don't like Blair is in the law, but you know, it's my shot. It's my video. It's my ding. It's my bell. It's working right now. Uh, look, it's all gump. Motown magic. Frank Sinatra. Look at that weird, weird. Weirdness, loads of sea salt, soul. Now, with this new collection next week, there's a load of really good soul. So, first press Marvins, there's stuff like the dude had like, um, like Joe Tex albums and Sam and Dave albums, like original Atlantic and Stax. And my eyes were like, ooh, so I'll, 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 I'll be a struggle to sell that stuff, but I or probably will. Mamas and papas, you know, stuff like that. Oh, don't forget the gig a week on Saturday. This is, I leave it next to the coffee machine and they get knackered. So anyway, come and see Bartholomew on a week on Saturday, Saturday the 27th, 
4, 4.30 p.m. The usual, in the shop, in the shop, free. Uh, albums for sale, support artists. You know, just do that. We pay the artists. They want paying. Sometimes I've had it where they go, I don't want paying. Just thank you for the gig. And if it helps you, it's helped me. And let's move on. This is good. Gloria Gaynor. Motown comps. You know, not even <laughs> just cheap Bee Gees comps. I think these are all in the £5 bin. Cool the gang. Super bad. Look at this, George McRae. And look how cool George is looking. Double denim, ob. Yeah, George is. I think George might be just wearing the denim jacket with no, no chair underneath. That's a look, innit? And I've put double denim George couldn't give a about the interest rate rises because he only cares for soul. I don't know George personally, but I think that's probably about right. Carpenters is one of those bands where you get millions of them in and you could you could get that cheap in the charity shop. Don't come here for it. But I have it all. Oh, just think I'll be back. Oh. You gotta lie on the floor, haven't you? And um <laughs> My funny story is I was, I was kind of like on the floor trying to stretch me back out and then I was singing a song in my head. I can't even remember what it was, but I ended up, I feel like I can tell you because I feel like we're, we, know, we all know each other now. But I ended up lying on the floor, kind of stretching my leg out, but then I ended up doing this song in my head, but I ended up just singing, smoochy, smoochy, smooch, like that. I don't know why. Right, we all do stuff like this. And then of course I turn around and I look up and there's somebody at the counter. And I'm like this. Hello, how can I help you? Now, that must have been the strangest um, thing for that person. And you know what? Normally, I would, you'd go, like, I'd laugh and joke about it. I'd laugh and, I'd laugh, I'd laugh and joke. Uh, was nothing was said. <laughs> nothing was said. <laughs> they just said, um, come for your sample. I went, okay, yeah, I've got that. There. No. Um, I'm not sure what they were after. What were they after? No, they were just they were just browsing, but they just I think they just came onto the counter because they, they could hear me lying on the floor. Oh dear. That's what you do when you got your own but that's what I can't I class that as work. Yeah. God is night in the pips. More Diana Ross, I told you, it's all a bit gumph. Free up mask greatest sits, new pressing of it. Queen Live Magic. They re released this, didn't they? But as Live at Wembley. It's pretty good. I mean, the best the best Queen Live album you can get is Rock Montreal on CD. This one. This has got a great fast version of We'll Rock You on. And if you like that fast version of We'll Rock You, get that Queen of the Bee record, which has got that on. It's brilliant, lad. Um, Complete Madness. Michael Jackson, Donna Summer, another place, another time. The Jim Crochet, Croche, Crochet, Crotch, Jim Crochet collection. Four Tops, told ya. Billy Ocean, as it got it on it. That's what we're all thinking. Caribbean Queen. Got the long and winding road on. That's the thing, when you look at these albums and you think, okay, that's got the hit on great, and then you look at see what else is on it. The Long and Winding Road by Billy Ocean in kind of what's that, mid 80s, 84. That's got to be worth a listen. Credence. Revival hit, seemingly a collectible record. Queen Day at the Races. More Queen Live, Live Killers. It's not bad, it's had a bit of a like this one, but still well playable. Thompson Twins, The Greatest Hits. I told you it was all gumph. You want to go to a proper record shop, we've got proper records, black. I've got a lot of Diana Ross. There's more Diana Ross. There's more U2. <laughs> I think Diana Ross is going to be... Oh, I've sold all my tote bags. 
So I'm going to get some new ones made and I'm looking for a replacement for the Ultravox joke. I think I've worked out what I'm going to do. But um, I'll probably get the same tote bag either in black or or maybe navy if I can get them in navy. Diana Ross lost it. Chicago. I couldn't name a Chicago tune if, if I had to. I know they've got one big hit, haven't they? One big AOR FM hit. Rod. Look at that haircut. Getting back to the fat mods, aren't we? With a haircut like that. <laughs> I'm glad I'm bald. Look, Beach Boys. I mean, you get that by the bazillion. I'm not a very good salesperson, am I? Don't come here, it's all a load of rubbish. You can get it cheaper elsewhere. Magnificent Johnny Cash, sure is. I saw Johnny Cash live. I think I mentioned it on this channel. In the Royal Albert Hall in, what, that's like 90... Five, six? He was very good. It's Johnny Cash. Came on, all in black, with the guitar. He did have a band, but they were just like way in the background and it was just him right at the front. Just... And he's like, hi, I'm Johnny Cash. Cool. Bill Ailey, rock around the clock. Rose Royce, greatest hits. Told you, it's all rubbish. Looking through the window. Jackson's. Neil Diamond. Hot August night. I put, is he having a stroke? I always thought that was a weird cover. Is he like doing air guitar? Was he just like feeling the music, man? I mean, I, I'm, I mean, he's got double denim. I, I suspect that's triple denim going on there. He's got the Native American Indian things going on. A lot of hair. It's obviously Neil wishing he was in Aerosmith. Look at that. Look at that bouffant. Global warming right there. Global warming. Rusty Springboard. Rusty Springboard. <laughs> ah, Rusty Springboard, stiff pilchard. <laughs> mm. Gotta laugh, haven't you? Friday, innit? Motown chart busters. Rubbish. I've got loads more on this stuff. I'm gonna try and get it all. I probably won't put all this stuff in the videos now. I'll probably try and pick good stuff. But I'll just get it out into the racks. I've got a, I'm just stood here looking at the two pound bin and there's like a Dennis Waterman album just look just looking at me. Eyeing me up. You see it? The sort of quality you get in this shop. Yeah. It's not your new Blair album, get to a proper record shop. Johnny Cash. D on Warwick. And then uh, more just just to end this um, normal bit. Christmas carols from Guildford Cathedral. And look, look at that. Innocent looking choir boy there. And it's all very Christmassy. Um, once in Royal David City. God rest you, merry gentlemen. And in a juvenile way, I've just put Satan, Satan, Satan written on it. Yeah. <laughs> and the kid's looking at it. Don't have a go at me. All right, I just work here. All right. So I'm, I'm just I'm just a staff. I just don't have a very good boss. There's no boundaries. No boundaries in this place. Terrible. Should we do the thingy at um that thingy? What else are you gonna say? Oh yeah. Anybody wanna buy a guitar? I bought I bought an acoustic guitar, right? It cost me quite a bit. And um it's it's fine, but you can't really get down the dusty end. The action's a bit high and I can't be bothered to lower that. It's fine at the cowboy chords end, you know, this end. Nice Yamaha, 1980s Yamaha. Quite a desirable guitar, lovely, made in Japan. Anyway, I'm plugging this for 80 quid if anybody wants it. That's in there. I'm not competing with harmonics. I went in <laughs> to them. <laughs> I said, I'm plugging my guitar, do you mind if I just sell it in my shop? They weren't that bothered. So um, I'm not competing with them. If you wait for 20 minutes, what else? Birthday ding. I've written <laughs> my notes. I've written birthday ding, Friday smooch, sample. 
Sounds like David Bowie lyrics, isn't it? There's always stuff you think about. Right, welcome to the collectible section. If you just joined us, and if you joined us on silent, um, these bags are cool. I've still got a few of them. I've got some NEMS ones. I think I mentioned them. But when you get them in, they're quite cool. Tower Records ones. The NEMS ones I've got hidden. Right, some of this I've showed you before. Um, I'm just getting them into pricing it up. So, I've sold quite a bit of this stuff now. Remember that metal stuff that came in about two or three weeks ago? All in like mint condition, the Crown Records bag and all that jazz. I've sold quite a bit of it. I, I'm not surprised. But anyway, I've got this still. I bought this EP when it came out. It's got, it's got, I'm sure it's got. Has it not got Spinal Tap on the back of it? I'm sure it's got B-side. Oh, it's got a cool B-side, right? A track called Big Dumb Sex. And if you do nothing today, you should go out and listen to Big Dumb Sex by Soundgarden and play it really loud so your neighbours can hear it. And uh, they'll all really appreciate that. But I remember being about 17, playing that thing, and oh God, I'm so, I'm so cool. Anyway, but that's a cool EP. That's from that period. But I'm sure it's got um, Spinal Tap. I'm sure it's got Big Bottom on it by Spinal Tap. If you've never heard Big Bottom by Spinal Tap, you haven't lived. You need to go listen. You just need to go listen to that. More Smashing Pumpkins. I am one. 10 inch. So different tracks than on the all near mint. Super duper. Uh, I'll, come to, I'll come to these last. We'll come to them last. Yeah, let's put them there. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Taste the Pain 12 inch. In this, cut out your chili. I've showed you this before, but I've priced it up now, so that's all ready to go. It's 20 quid on that, which is really good, being it's, it, it's basically mint. And then a couple of, I was gonna try and do a stupid German accent, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. Just call them Kraftwerk. Kraftwerk albums. Original UK first press computer world. So that one uh, is this one, which is I think this is a compilation. Yeah, compilation. Cool picture there, isn't it? I'm sure, there's another one. Yeah, my machine standard. Now I've got a couple of copies of my machine. I've got a real near mint one. This is about forty quid, which is you know the higher end of the price range. But this is. It's good. It's, in fact, it's very good. It's got a bit of wear on it, and the vinyl plays fine. That one's 25 quid, which is, you know, pretty reasonable price, man machine. Oh, right, near the end now. Faith No More, We Care A Lot, their first album. It's going to be a short vid this week, isn't it? Faith No More, We Care A Lot, first album, <coughs> minty. I don't have that. Oh, I did have it, I sold it in the shop when I first started doing the shop. So I wonder whether to keep it or not, but I seem to remember I didn't really play it that much. A couple of tracks they used to do live quite a lot. As the worm turns. Great track. Uh, Mark Bowen, that's a good track. And the original version that we care a lot. All looking pretty young there. Sadly, Chuck Mosley. No, lo no longer with us. I remember <laughs> going to see them in the Royal Court and a, a couple of them were like outside and I was like running up as a kid. And they were just really nice and I just, I said, you sign my ticket. They're like, they're like, yeah, sure. Really nice guys. Oh, who put this in here? Who put this in here? Hmm? Actually selling one, 25 quid. Can't go wrong, it's brilliant. You know how much I love this band, I love this album. If I could, yeah, that is the business. Right, and then look what I found. I found Bert Bacharach, Portrait in Music. Okay, but then when I opened it up, I realised what the picture was from, and you might do too. So if you know what that's from, keep it to yourself, because no one likes anybody that's smug. You know what I mean? Keep it to yourself. No one likes that smell in the do they? Oh no, actually, that's only on the second press. No, it's actually not that. It's taken from a photo by Mitt Rock. Oh. Anyway, Christmas is coming. <laughs> I'll play that. I'll play a bit of Bert in the shop and then I'll get on board with it and then I'll sell it. 
Right, the other things, Smashing Pumpkins Sevens, I think I have to show you these, but I've now got I've got um Disarm purple vinyl today on I think is that red vinyl, yeah. And I've got over in the corner Cherub Rock on it's coloured vinyl, it's a clear vinyl in there, so I've got quite a bit of them. And then I did show you these last week, but I will show you them again. I've got these U2 album samplers. Now I've sold one. So I had four of them, so I've got three of them left. These are samplers of the Joshua T. Yeah, I know. They're, they're steep. They're near in condition. But when I bought them, I thought, yeah, they, they might be interesting. And then when I did a bit of research on them after I bought them, I realised that they, they've not really been sold that often online, which is always a good gauge of how rare they are, really, or <laughs> how much nobody wants them. But there was none for sale. Oh, no, there was like three for sale. None in the UK. So I put these on. Anyway, one of, one of them's gone already. So if you're interested in these, these are near mint, right? I'm not really going to look for offers on these because if they're that kind of unusual, I'll just let them sit in the shop until until they go online. Um, but if you want them, come down and have a look. They haven't been played. They haven't been played. Near mint them. Uh, I think that's it. Come to the gig. Cheryl might come in in a minute. I've done a video early, so there's no messing about. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> right, okay, let's end it. Should we end it there? What are you all doing today? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Got anything planned for the weekend? Oh, yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah, that'll be nice, yeah. Oh, that'll be lovely, yeah. If you get the weather for it, that'll be really nice, won't it? Mm. Yeah. No, not much. Not much, just working in the shop. And then, uh, I'm meant to be taking my son out on Sunday. That's it. Just try and get him out of the house. Try and get him out. The only way of doing it is by tying a bit of string to his phone and then kind of walking out quick from the house. And he'll come, he'll come after it. Ah, he'll follow. <laughs> and then maybe I can get him out and we can go and we can go do something. Kind of shock him into, into it and then he'll realise how much, you know, he doesn't want to do whatever it is we're trying to do. Sunday is just like, is a chill out day. It's a chill out day. But I'm sure there's something else, but I can't remember. Come the gig. Please come the gig. And it's, you know, it's free in. And it's just to support local musicians. So come to that. Bartholomew. Support your local record shops. If you want to buy the Blair album, knock yourself out. I'm sure it'd be amazing. Um, good luck. Anyway, right, I'm off to... Uh, I'm off to go do that. So, right, I will catch you next week. Have a nice weekend. Blah, 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 blah. Every time I turn these off, I go, ah, oh, should have mentioned some, which is why I should write better lists than birthday ding, Friday smooch and sample. I should write more, but that's not, you'd think it would be like, talk about the latest, like second release, talk about what the shop's doing. So, you know, promotion, no, no. That's all I like it. Right, I'm going. Bye. Ay, ay, ay. Look, I don't know why it doesn't work. I press it. It's going to work now. Bye. I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it. Look. <laughs> Somewhere around here, there's a 1970s remote control car going crazy, isn't there? Because I'm doing that. That's when you knew he was rich and he wasn't. People who had the remote control cars that had the proper in the seventies. And woo and then people who had like, you know, the big track one. And they go left. Oh, get it to go right. It's not working. See you later, bye.